Do you remember that kid who used to beat you up? Disappeared. That evil boss who drove you crazy. Gone. The person who broke your heart. Bye-bye. The guy who scratched your brand new car. The baby who wouldn't stop screaming when you had a splitting headache. That neighbor who is always complaining about everything. That good old friend of yours who is always flirting with your sweetheart. They're all gone. At least you still have your dog. Um, <laughs> actually, he's gone too. Just like 200 species of plants, insects, birds, and mammals that become extinct every 24 hours. It's called the sixth extinction. Over the last 40 years, 50% of Earth's wildlife has been wiped out, and data shows that this phenomenon is accelerating. Nothing like this has happened since the dinosaurs disappeared 65 million years ago. And human actions are at the root cause of this entire situation. That's right. Oh, here we go with the environmentalist preaching again. You don't have time for these things, do you? If you want, you can stop this video now. Oh, you're still here? Great. Now where were we? Over thousands of years, species diversity has led to increased ecosystem stability and resilience. By wiping out wildlife, along with cutting down the rainforests, changing the composition of the atmosphere, acidifying the oceans, we're endangering human life. If we want to save all the beautiful things we have on this planet, measures are to be taken. First of all, we need to dramatically increase the number of protected natural reserves, hotspots on the land and in the sea that cannot be deforested, hunted, fished, built on, drilled in, or polluted. But how? All too often, those who decide for us have political or short-term interests that do not coincide with those of the planet and all life on it. And while politics is not helping, the most innovative industry, big tech, is pouring billions into life extension research, which will be totally useless if in 100 years from now, the Earth becomes uninhabitable due to the collapse of ecosystems, climate change, and over-exploitation. But perhaps in Silicon Valley, there is someone who can help us. He has accomplished tasks that everyone labeled as impossible. He's deeply concerned with sustainability. He's not getting enough sleep. He often tweets stupid things and angers shareholders. But he has the audacity to challenge the status quo, and he likes to do it. His name is Elon Musk. Elon, are you ready to take up the challenge? It may not sound as cool as launching reusable rockets to Mars, and it probably won't earn you a lot of money. But then, you know what? You would be the one who can really save the world. Psst. And now who's going to make that phone call?